Hello everybody, Jerry Jerry Bye here. Today I have the Intratech Tech DC9. This gun is old, no longer in production, so I can't get you an MSRP. But let's take a quick look at it and see what makes this gun so infamous. All right, so those of you who don't know, Intratech started off um, Sweden. There was a company called Interdynamic AB, that's like Alpha Bravo. They made some cheap guns. They tried to make a cheap submachine gun pistol. It didn't do so well, so they tried to import it into America with their uh, subsidiary in America called Interdynamic Guns. America was very, you know, against automatics, so they changed a lot of things. The gun wasn't that good, so then after some back and forth and whatnot, they eventually the company got changed to the name Intratech, and they came out with a different gun called the Tech 9. Tech from the word, the company name Intratech. And also, their head designer was George Kelman, which I'm not sure I'm pronouncing his name right, but uh, he later on formed his own company, and he took the part of his name Kelman, K-E-L, and Intratech, and made Keltech. So the head engineer from Intratech made Keltech firearms today. So their, their guns weren't doing too well, so they came with the Tech 9. Um, it got very famous. It was like the original scary looking gun. It was back up until then, you really didn't have these polymer plastic guns. So this gun is the bottom is polymer. The um, magazine, instead of going in the pistol grip, it goes in the front. So it looks weird. It has a 20 rounders. They come with 32 rounders and people just freaked out. They thought it was making, you know, assault weapons. People were going to be doing all kinds of crazy stuff. It was using some high profile shootings. So a lot of um, states banned them. They specifically banned back then. There weren't many guns like it. So they said, okay, the Tech 9 is banned. So they got smart and they said, hey, let's name it the Tech DC-9 to get around the ban. Some people said that DC stands for Design for California. Some said it is stood for District of Columbia because Washington DC also banned it. And some people say DC stands for Defensive Carry. But either way, that was just, this is the way they got around that ban until the states got smart and they said, okay, we're just gonna ban any kind of pistol with a, with a barrel shroud or with a threaded barrel, for example. So what makes this different than the regular Tech 9? Um, it's the same, about a four inch barrel. This one, this specific model does have the threaded barrel, um, but it did not come with a barrel shroud. The barrel shroud just added some extra length, like that much or so, it just helped when you're shooting, the extra metal around the barrel would help take the heat away from the barrel so you could have longer shooting sessions. You know, when your barrel gets hot, it expands and your shots get less accurate. Um, the original one also had like a swivel on the side. This new one for California, they got rid of that swivel on the side and they made it as part of the back of the gun there. So you put your swivel, or your sling, excuse me, through there. And that's really all they did different. Um, very basic gun, safety. You just push it in and you can't charge it. You pull it out to charge it. And if you can't remember, it does tell you, written around the flat surface, it says push in safe. Um, AK style mag release, just a straight stick, and uh, trigger, very skinny, kind of sharp, not sharp ain't hurting, but like sharp angled, very, very basic, very long pull, it's hard to tell where the brake is, it, it, it's like in a weird spot, um, again, they just made a really cheap gun, uh, Worked fine, basic, you know, sights, nothing accurate, not meant for long ranges, blowback design, so the whole gun doesn't move, just the, just the uh, bolt itself does, so pretty low recoil. Um, it just got, unfortunately, a bad rep for being in some high profile shootings, and so everybody started banning it, and by the time the Supreme Court said, or the courts of California said that they weren't responsible for the deaths, they just, um, damage had been done, and Intratech went bankrupt, dissolved, and now, the head designer of his own company called Keltech, and they're still pumping out some weird guns. Keltech makes really weird looking guns, weird named guns. So in a way, the legacy kind of lives on. But uh, all in all, just a piece of American history. A gun that did absolutely nothing wrong, just was a victim of circumstance. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. If you found some uh, value in the video, be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one.